In this video, I wanted to talk to you about your watercolor brushes. Now you need to get some good brushes. They don't have to be the really expensive ones, but you need to get a good brush that's gonna hold your paint well and release it how it should. You don't wanna get the cheap kids brushes. They don't hold their shape and they don't pick up and release the paint the same way. So I linked to these Princeton synthetic brushes on my watercolor list, this is a size 12, and it has a really nice tip so you can get little tiny details even with this. I also really like these Utrecht 228 series. This is um, a synthetic brush too, but it's I love this size 6, I use this one a lot. I wasn't able to find these brushes at a good price for you guys online, so I'm not going to link to them. but. Here's the brand in case you want to look it up and look for some kind of stable mix if you want to find a real brush that's not synthetic. Now I want to go over with you real quick how to care for your brushes. This is really important because you don't want to wear them out since they're expensive. When you're using them, never try to push really hard on the bristles so that you disrupt the way they lay. It's okay to use it, but you don't want to be really rough and mess them around like that. You also don't use soap in them. You don't need to. Watercolor rinses out. Get a jar of water. I like using this little peanut butter jar. You can use a cup. Um, and just twirl your brush in the water. You can tap some of the water off on the edge. And then if you want, you can dry the, the tip with a paper towel. Just make sure to reshape your brush to be gentle with them. This is the most important thing I want to go over with your brushes. It may be really tempting once you're switching brushes to leave your brush sitting in the jar like this. That's really bad. Don't do that to your brushes. It's going to push the tips and it's going to soak them in there and it's going to ruin the tip. So if you're done using your brush, don't leave it in the water, pull it out, rinse it off, and lay it flat to let it dry. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this.